Does anybody else find it strange that there seems to be this big agenda on um, Americans who have been here for, I guess you can say, the last couple thousand years? There's a big push about getting out of America, getting out of the United States. And for people who are of color, who people call themselves African Americans, there's a big push about going back to the motherland or going back to Africa. Hmm. What do you think about that? So I've seen, I mean, I've watched other YouTubers and there just, just seems to be like, especially among, among the, um, I really don't like to use the word African Americans because I still seem to believe that uh, a lot of people still believe that majority of the melanated people who are here in America were brought on slave ships. But I'm not going to go into debate about this, but I know for a fact that there were different tribes here on the continent that we are living on, U.S. soil, United States of America, there were many, many tribes that were here before this land was colonized and turned into a corporation. So the only people who got the native name was, okay, we call them Native Americans right now, who they look like, you know, the Mongolians type bloodline, um, you know, Mexicans, you know, from what you call it, Mexicans, the the Mayans and all of them, they was here too. Um, there's only been a very small amount of us melanated people who they gave us the name African American, Negro, and all of that, copper color people. <clears throat> only a very small few people actually got to retain the name Native Americans. Majority of us was called African Americans, and I believe that was another way to brainwash us into thinking that majority of us came from Africa on these slave ships. And so basically while I'm talking about this, I just feel like there's this big agenda, especially among people who talks about being the Hebrew Israelites and, you know, all of that. Um, there just seems to be this big agenda on going back to Africa and I, I really don't understand it and I and I'm questioning it I I just feel I mean even I've heard it from um, somebody else um, y'all probably know who I'm going to y'all probably might know the person but there is a, a like a CIA agent who's been on people's talk shows and stuff and he was saying the same thing he's just like you got to get out of America you know, you got to get out of America. And he gave a timeline before 2030. Um, and then there's another well-known lady. I love watching her content too. Um, I don't think I want to really, I'm not going to say her name, but um, she was saying the same thing about we got to get out of the United States. And everybody's talking about you need to get your passport, blah, blah, blah. Some people saying it's too late. You should have done it already. And I'm just wondering why is there so much fear? I'm not going to say fear mongering. I'm sorry. I am going to say why is there so much pressure put out there to, for people to leave America? So here's my take on it. One thing that I have noticed um, no offense to immigrants, okay? But I'm just going to lay it out here now that there are a lot of illegal immigrants of different nationalities being allowed to come here to the United States because there is a 
pretty picture painted about, you know, the United States being the better place to be for a lot of these, you know, countries. Uh, from, um, I was, let me see. For one thing, we do know that a lot of illegal immigrants, and there are some legal immigrants, they get quite a bit of money. Some people who will come over here as citizens and get their citizenship, they don't have to pay taxes for a certain amount of years. Hmm. And then let's talk about how much help is being sent everywhere else, Ukraine. Let's talk about how much, I mean, it's just... And so basically what I'm getting at is there are people who are willing to come over here, whether it's legally or illegal, and work for less. So that's how they keep in this system going is by being able to pay people to work for less. And you know, a majority of us other people, we're not we're not trying to do that anymore. Living paycheck to paycheck, not get anywhere, okay? And I was just watching Dr. Phil a few weeks ago. There was a couple on there with kids and they sent her working three and four jobs and they still living paycheck to paycheck. I've been there, done that for 10 years. And I'm at a point to where I'm, I'm just done. So I guess not to get too much off top topic, it's like, it's like they want us to leave. Because if you have more, I'm just saying, this is just my own personal opinion. This is not fact, but I just feel like if you can get the people out of the United States who is not going to put up, um, you know, put up with certain stuff, and then you bring in the ones who is willing to do this and do that and get paid less for a better living, then, you know, why not? Those are your slaves because the United States of America, you know, it is a corporation. We are slaves when we sit here working a nine to five job working for other people. And yes, I have heard about the, um, the Chinese coming in and starting to buy land. Um, Dr. Phil was talking about that too, how they was buying land near military station base bases, whatever you want to call them. Um, China, they are not the only ones. He even pointed that out too. They're not, uh, we was just, he was concerned that there should have been like some sort of law or something about, you know, other countries, you know, purchasing land in other countries. So there are other countries, you know, who have land here in the United States too as well. But there seems to be also another big issue about, you know, the Chinese coming in and buying up land. And I just recently found out that China, uh, they own Smithfield. And I know I used to buy, uh, well, I used to buy Smith, Smithfield bacon, you know. Um, but it's just, uh, I don't know. Um, things are just changing, and I get that things are changing here uh, in the United States. But just because things are changing... Does that give us a reason to leave? Why do why is there so much pressure on us leaving the United States? The United States is one of the newest, still young corporations or country, whatever you want to call it, corporation, country. Um, I'm also, um, remember like this person, um, talking about getting out of America, talking about, you know, the volcanoes and stuff. Cause I know we talk a lot about the apocalypse and you know, what's going to happen and whatnot. So someone was saying that if you near live anywhere near volcanoes, you want to, you know, leave and all that kind of stuff. But <clears throat> why leave America? I feel like that this is just my personal opinion and I want you to respectfully put in the comments your opinion too. And I'm I'm just I'm just wondering why is there so much pressure on getting out of America and why is there so much pressure on African Americans? I do not identify as an African American because I know my bloodline that I 
excuse me, that I came from, we've been here, we was here before they came to colonize it. So I do not identify as an African American. And I believe majority of the melanated people who were here, who are here, who they call African Americans, I strongly believe that we were here. And if I'm not mistaken, ooh, I can't wait to do this. I'm going to have to go to the library and see how to get into the archives because let's talk about uh, Dan Calloway, how those photographs and everything he was able to get and these Native American people, they had afros and stuff. They looked like us. So anyways, it takes a lot of research and, you know, stuff to get all that information but anyways i'm just curious of why you know there's so much pull and push and pressure on getting african americans to go back to the motherland the promised land uh what else egypt they want us back over there in africa and then i actually remember watching years ago there were some africans that was over there and <laughs> they'd be talking about they were like why do they call y'all why the why do we call ourselves African American? They were like, y'all are not us. I mean, and you can just look at the 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 body structure, the the face structure. You can see that we are not of the same. But that I'm I'm just wondering. I'm just like, what's the big hype about getting us out of America? I feel like that just gives them, whoever the them is. A chance to invade, a chance to take over, which maybe they've already taken over. Because, I don't know, um, I was listening to somebody and it makes perfect sense. And I was thinking myself, um, <clears throat> how much debt that the United States is in. They actually, like, according to my economics class, I was taking economics. And the United States owe the most money, excuse me, dang. States owe the most money, excuse me, States owe the most money, excuse me, dang. Um, economics. So I've, in my economics class, uh, there were some statistics and everything. And according to the statistics, the United States owes the most money to Japan. And then China is next, according to those statistics. So you think about if United States is a corporation, how do they get out of debt? And, you know, that went into all of that and everything too, but it, Maybe we're not owned by who we were owned by at first. And maybe that's why, I don't know, China is coming in. Maybe there was some sort of deal that was made. We really don't know. Um, so I'm going to get, this, I'm getting a little bit too off topic, I guess, now. But, um, yeah, that's just the whole thing. Why is there so much pressure on getting out of America? To me, it doesn't sit right with me. But if spirit comes to me and say, get the hell up out of here, then I'm going to go. But right now, I'm just not getting that feeling of leaving America. I just feel like it's some sort of tactic or some sort of strategy of some of something. Because to be truthfully honest, I mean, in a sense, we do got it good over here. But at the same time, I feel like we are the most asleep when it comes to things because... Most of us don't even realize how controlled that we are with the jobs, with the food, uh, what you can and can't do. I don't know how to explain it, but um, I don't know. I, I still feel like there's a lot of manipulation and control over here in the United States. And most people don't see it. People, People's like, oh, go vote. Vote for this person. Vote for that. I'm sorry, but voting does not do anything. Um, they elect people who they want to elect in. Okay. It's. It's not even a, an election. It's more like a selection, you know. So they know who they want in their system. And they know who they don't want in, if that makes sense. So the, the, system, is, the system is flawed, heavily flawed, okay. The entire system, the, the, the educational system, the judicial system, you know, it's all flawed. But anyways, I done got, got off topic and... Just leave leave something in the comment. I want to really know. I want to. I want some juice. I need some more. Uh, <laughs> some of everybody else's opinions, or you know, what research that y'all have done for the reason to leave America. Why should we leave America, or why should we not leave America? I I don't mind hearing from both sides. All I just want is comments to be respectful. That's it.
Because if your comment ain't respectful, then I'm going to start deleting stuff.